Hi there, welcome to another unboxing video. I'm changing it up this time. Instead of doing a magic unboxing, I'm doing a jihad unboxing. Um, jihad was the second collectible card game developed by Richard Garfield, who is the creator of Magic. Uh, it was invented in 1994, um, and it was the following year renamed to Vampire the Eternal Struggle. It's a vampire-based uh, mythos. It's actually based on the Vampire the Masquerade role-playing game, and by role-playing game I mean the you know pencil and pa or pencil and paper role-playing game, not the video, not sort of video games. I don't think there was ever a vampire video game. But anyway, um, this is a game that my friends and I get into very briefly um, in the midst of our magic playing. Um, this is sort of a I don't know. This wasn't as appealing. The games were more slow moving. Um, it just sort of wasn't as fun as magic, so, uh, but we were, you know, gothy teenagers and we liked the vampire stuff, so I had quite the collection of these cards at one point, not as extensive as my magic collection, but regardless, um, <clears throat> when I started get, getting back into ma magic and buying the old kind of classic magic cards, I decided to go ahead and buy a Jihad deck as well. Uh, it's very similar, um, you know, in design, as you can see, to magic. It's got the Deckmaster logo. Doesn't have the Wizards of the Coast logo on it anywhere. It might, I don't know. That was 95, so maybe I got rid of the logos. Um, anyway, and you can see that uh, this is actually co branded with White Wolf, which took over the game <clears throat> after Wizards of the Coast, the original founder, abandoned it. Um, and the logo here, I should note, this is meant to. So, uh, Jihad was more designed uh, as a multiplayer, like more than two game, whereas Magic was more of a one-on-one -on -one game. <clears throat> so the logo, each of these curvy things represents a player, and they're all attacking the player to their... I got that wrong. They're all attacking the player to their uh, right, basically. Yeah, so this guy's attacking this guy, this guy's... Attacking this guy, and this guy is attacking this guy. Um, I have no recollection of how this game is actually played, so um, as I look through these cards, I will not have anything to say really about um, <clears throat> the quality of any given card, but <clears throat> um, whatever. The artwork should be good, and maybe I'll actually recognize some from back when I used to play. So, same cigarette wrapper design. How many cards are actually? 76 cards in this box. I don't know where they got that number, but hey. Better than 60, right? So this is the card design. And again, um, this was changed to Vampire in the next one, which meant that um, it was hard to use the original set of cards in subsequent games. Uh, one thing Magic has not done, as far as I know, in the last um, 20 years, almost 20 years of its existence, has changed the design of the back of the cards. I think it's pretty impressive. And there's actually no cigarette wrapper. Oh, yes, there is. It's just, no, wait, no, there isn't. There's no cigarette wrapper on this thing. All right, well, so I'm opening it the old-fashioned way. Scissors. Let's screw up the cards here. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a rule book. Oh, that collectible grading, the collectible card smell. So nice. Rule book, uh, black and white. Um, this is 94 before they got really kind of fancy about it. Um, may review that, I might not. Uh, one thing I should note is I think that there were actually, maybe not. It's so, oh yeah, here we go. So there were um, different colored cards. I don't know what these, oh, I guess these are the actual vampires. Let's go through these first. Oh, Dance and Dana. Let's see if I can remember what these things. So this is the clan or guild or whatever that the vampire belongs to. This is basically the strength, and these are abilities that I don't recognize. We got Dance and Dana, 
Astrid Thomas. The artwork in this was always so gothy. It was great. Sabine Lafitte. Kindred Segregation. That's not a vampire. Uh, I'm totally at sea here. Lex Talionis. Rake. Remember that guy. Bianca. Brazil. Drew Tucker. Now he's tell the sloppy watercolors. Dre, Leader of the Cold Dawn. Giuliano Bitenzi. Win. Mi uh, Nick and Ramiel Dupre. I actually recognize almost all of these vampire cards, which is kind of scary. I have a very good memory, but I don't remember how the game is played. Okay, so this is the first set of cards that was before the rule book. I'm trying to keep these in order. Asylum Hunting Ground, Wolf Companion, <clears throat> Man Stopper Rounds. I actually didn't recall that one. Pulling strings. So the yeah, the, the basic gist of the game was all about influence and trying to, you know, you're bleeding your opponents, try to decrease their influence over the community. Obedience, Eagle Sight, Letter from Vienna, IR Goggles, Rampage, Sport Bike, Voter Captivation, Cultivated Blood Shortage. These are all so so elaborate. Bruja Frenzy. Praxis Seizure Chicago. Distraction. You already saw one of those. Oh, here's another vampire. Roxanne, Rectrix of the 13th floor. Okay, so this other vampire, Chester Dubois. I do recall that this was the Nosferatu clan, and they were all very ugly. Masquerade Enforcement. All right. This is the cards, the non-orange cards that were behind the blue book, the rule book. Concealed Weapon, Disputed Territory, Minion Trap, Ascendance, Unnatural Disaster, Laptop Computer, Seduction, <laughs> Computer Hacking, Short-Term Investment, Peace Treaty, these are all such exciting names for cards, Claws of the Dead, Earth Control, Unflinching Persistence, Surprise Influence, Blood Doll, I do recall that one. Sawed Off Shotgun, Enchant Kindred, wait a minute. Harold McNeil, man. Not really, uh, <laughs> not really wandering out of your comfort zone there, are you, with the illustrations? Bewitching Oration, Acrobatics, Illegal Search and Seizure, Lucky Blow. Govern the unaligned, flak jacket, canine horde. It's funny. I, I, I'm actually remembering like almost like a lot of these cards now. It's actually kind of scary not having seen them in almost twenty years. Bonding, legal manipulations, rat's warning, disguised weapon, presence, brainwash, Camarilla exemplary, fast reaction, read intentions, misdirection, wake with evening's freshness. Gleam of Red Eyes, Harold McNeil again. Earthmel, Dominate. It's Douglas Schuller, he's a big uh, magic illustrator. Throw Sewer Lid, Mighty Grapple, Conditioning, Protracted Investment, Spirit's Touch, Rapid Healing, and Telepathic Encounter. So, yeah, um, this is all very mysterious to me. Um, the basic idea, as I recall, is you had, you know you were sort of like a master vampire, and you had all your minions, and your minions would fight against each other, and then you would have these other so like things like concealed weapon would be used in combat between minions, and then um, I don't know these other cards. You know, you could sort of just sort of work little manipulative influences against your other against your opponents. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It's all like I said. It was not the sort just the sort of you know. Tap lands, cast spells, attack, block, um, stuff from magic. But, um, you know, it was fun. It was okay, and it was vampire-y, so we liked that. So there's the Jihad deck. Um, I think it was very unlikely that you would name a card game Jihad these days, but there it is. Uh, back to magic in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe! Thanks.